Let's say you want to do a project that uh, involves images and you don't have any. And you thought maybe you could use Google to find some that were available online. Uh, here's how you might go about doing that. So this is the uh, standard Google uh, search page. Uh, and what you really want, though, are not all, all hits on whatever your search interest is, but rather you want images. So you might start by going up here and uh, select images. And now your search is going to be specific to images. Let's say uh, I want to do a project that requires a turtle image. So I enter turtle and I do my search. And sure enough, I, uh, I find a large number of uh, turtle images. Now, one of the issues here, however, is that I'm not necessarily really allowed to use any image I can find uh, in a project, especially if I'm going to share that project in some way. I, I really need um, uh, images that are made available uh, for use. And uh, you might think of images for perhaps that are made available under a Creative Commons license. So Google uh, provides a way you can narrow uh, this collection of images down to those that uh, you know are available uh, for specific uses and I'm going to start here by clicking what I call the gear icon I'm not certain if that's correct or not and I'm looking for advanced search and and here you see all the possible um, I call them filters uh, I can apply to my existing collection of images. What I'm looking for are down here at the bottom where it says usage rights. And so if I look at the options here, um, you see at present it's not filtered at all, but I have a, a variety of options. And you know, I'm, I'm not commercial, so I'm really maybe, I want a collection that would be free to use uh, or share. And so I select on that. Now I'm going to filter the collection I've generated to just this subset of images. And now we're back. Um, and this is a subset. Um, let's say this one. This is kind of interesting looking. A baby turtle. <laughs> and there you see it in a, in, a, in a bigger size. It's always a good idea to check uh, to make certain um, if you go to really where the uh, image comes from, you should be able to determine more carefully um, what, what the expectation of the individual or individuals offering that image is. So if I click on this image again, uh, I should go to its original source. Um, let's see here. And it's obviously <laughs> large. You can see this part of it here. Um, but if I look around right, right at the uh, top of this page, um, I can see royalty free stock photo, public domain image. So I would be fairly assured that uh, I, I could make use of this image, at least in an educational setting. So this is how you would go about uh, locating images uh, that meet various Creative Commons options using Google Search.